Here is uh, Representative Thomas Massey. Um, where is he from? Kentucky. Kentucky. And when you're in Kentucky, you've got a special problem, which is, oh, my God, a huge percentage of my state is actually gets uh, health insurance through uh, the Medicaid expansion and through the exchanges. I'm going to get screwed. But I got to pretend like I'm against Obama and Obamacare. So I'm going to say this doesn't go far enough. And that's the way he's going to work no to yes like the changes just aren't that drastic and i think we could get to yes but i think it's going to take uh, this bill going down tomorrow they may pull the bill from the floor uh, or they may push it to the floor if they do i think it'll fail you still think no matter though the white house and the house speaker think that they've got the momentum the wind is at their back you still think yeah. that they are i don't know making it up you don't think they get there well, that's, those are the key words, momentum, wind at their backs. They're not telling you they have the votes because they don't have the votes. They're using a lot of euphemisms, and they're sounding really optimistic. But I can tell you they're in trouble. During the meeting um, yesterday when President Trump visited you all, he warned yeah. all of you that voting against this could mean some of you could lose your seats and also that Republicans could lose the majorities. Do you believe him? We're afraid he's a one-term president if this passes. We are trying to save him. The phone calls to my office are running 275 against versus four. Only four votes from my constituents are in favor of this. So this electorally voting for this is bad today, and it's going to be really bad in two or three years when the changes start kicking in and uh, health insurance prices start going through the roof. Going through the roof. Yeah, they were out on the roof. Well, this is, I wonder, because, you know, the other thing that's that's sort of interesting about this with Mitch McConnell and the Kentucky connection is that he so far has maintained that if this passes the House, they're going to move it through the Senate without any changes. It's going to move fast and it's going to go through. And I wonder, like... Who maintains that? McConnell has. Oh, McConnell yeah, McConnell yeah, has yeah. not, and he hasn't softened on the timeline at all. And there's, you know, I mean, there's at least 12 people in the Senate, Republicans, who have everywhere from Rand Paul right wingism to you know the Susan Collins Portman and types and, and yeah. Flake and Heller yeah, yep. so you I wonder with McConnell too like that What's the McConnell Kentucky doing? the Kentucky angle Oh no no I'll tell you what McConnell what do you think doing? he's doing tell me He's betting that it's not going to get through the house Right well clearly but I mean if they go into the Senate is he also betting like mm, I don't necessarily want this to pass I as a Kentucky senator No 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 I think he's saying like he's doing exactly what you do when you're like you know uh hey man I will fight anybody out right, there right. who shows up here at this office. <laughs> you know, I've like, got your back 100%. That's right. And all you got to do is just get it through the House, which I'm sure you'll have no problem doing. Right. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to muscle it through the Senate. Don't even worry about Believe it. Me, Believe me. If I was to get me. into, uh, if I was in a situation where I had to uh, jump a pole vault, I could do it. Let me tell you something. I'm going to treat this bill like I might treat, I don't know, a ship containing drugs that my wife's family was shipping into the country. <laughs> High priority. Just an example. Another interesting Kentucky connection is that he looks, that Massey guy looks like he's wearing a Rand Paul wig. That's true. He really I think does. that's now. Something the, happens like, out here. That's like, <laughs> that's like the Revolutionary War period powdered wig in Kentucky now. Yeah. Here's um, You're such a nerd, Matt. Hey, everybody. Sam Cedar here. Donald Trump is a bad guy. Believe me. It's true. It is true. And you can subscribe to this channel by subscribing to this channel. It's true.